Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my good it does Minecraft again, Direwolf 20. So we're about four days into the uh, server being up um, since so the newest update. Um, see, I'm flying. Why? Because I'm a bat. Anyway, um, this is the house I built. I've done quite a bit of nether mining. Um, God, that feels so short. I uh, got the very basics of the ME system set up. Very, very basics. Um, slowly getting there. Got scriber and everything still sitting there. Grindstone, because I didn't have anything to grind anything with. Um, yeah, just slowly getting there. It's taking, taking sweet time. Um, this is the forge area. This is going to be the workshop, basically. Um, smell tree. Chaining tables. Uh, the only thing I have so far, put all my my resources into a pulverizer. But of course, what everybody likes about modded is the power generation. Um, couldn't decide. There's actually an oil well. Can't really see it right from here. There's an oil well way out there that we're starting to drill out. Um, but this is the. Um, well, I'm using solar power, because I can. Um, I actually had an issue with the wooden kinesis pipes, because they were not able to handle the output. Uh, and then the gold pipes were not able to handle the throughput. So I had to upgrade a little bit of them to diamond to get it out of here. And into a triple buffer, into a capacitor core. Which is full, even though I'm running a quarry. Um... I have those things set on a... Ah, see, there it goes. Um, actually, why is that still there? I can come down. I don't need those anymore. They weren't really working. Um, basically, I have it set into a system that every, I believe, 40 seconds? Let me see. Every 40 seconds, um, it will swap between charging up and discharging. At night time, whenever this shuts off, it will... Um, sorry, I'm just reading to make sure I have everything set right. It will, at night time, it will automatically shut off, or turn on all the red, the redstone, red alloy wire, um, automatically making all of them dump at night. That way, it, they start over, they, they start fresh. Um, solar generators have massive, massive output. Um, I have two X8s, one X64, and a whole bunch of X1s. 5x8, sorry. The one in the corner. Um, yeah, just my power station. I am trying to be a little bit different. I tried to cover up my wiring as best I could to make it look pretty. Um, this is my godlike pick that picks anything. Literally, it just takes a little while. Uh, the ME system runs all the way out to the quarry, which is in the corner. Also covered up to make it look good. This is my quarry, which is still running, thankfully. And how deep are we so far? We're really, really deep. Uh, I'm going to drown if I stay down here. Okay, so. But yeah, so here's a quarry over here. Kind of hidden. It outputs into a diamond chest, which is being immediately withdrawn from to place back into the ME system. I need to go check and see if it's getting full or not. If it gets, starts getting full, I have to turn off the uh, quarry, or else it'll overflow. Um, well, not overflow, but the quarry will just start wasting blocks. We don't want that at all. Oh, maybe this one's right here. Um, well, where's it storing to? Oh, there we go. And it's storing to one drive, apparently. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good then. Look in here, you can see all the items I have. That's really all I have so far. Plenty of yellow, right? That's going to be good later. Uh, lots of iron ore coming out of it. Um, ferris ore, aluminum. Yeah, doing pretty good. Going to have plenty of uh, extras to uh, work with. I'm going to go ahead and toss some of this stuff in the ME system because basically it makes sense to do so. I literally keep one of these things, one of each of these things on me at all times. 
while exploring so that I have access to them if I need. Every card is staying with me. The sponge will stay with me because I need that every now and then. I, oh, I got some charge quartz. That's nice. Um, yeah, so just a basic setup. Um, this is the house, you know, just kind of having that house thing going on. If you're wondering what I am, why like, you don't see arms and stuff, there's this add-on, this uh, mod we're using. I you to change into different stuff, like I can change back into my normal, or I can change into anything I've killed. It's really cool. I use a bat, because it allows you to fly. You know, makes sense. Uh, ooh, we have a buffer that is almost full. Two buffers all... Uh, three, all three buffers are almost full. That's actually not good. Um, <laughs> the buffers get full, then... Um, I don't really know what's going to happen up here, because these are going to fill up with energy, and it's not going to have anywhere to go. That'll be okay, though. Anyway, just a quick short video on uh, what's going on in the Minecraft world. Um, well, thank you for that egg, sir. Just what I needed. There we go. I like eggs. Eggs are good for you. Um, yeah, so, that's, that's it. Just a little intro to the world. This is uh, my house and its amazing glory. Uh, very dark, but amazing still. <laughs> Alright, enjoy. And I will be hopefully updating more videos later on as we start doing more adventurous things. Cheers.